8 knockouts. Salute people, Sports Talk with Fred White. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button real quick. Click the like button, maybe leave a comment. So that who you just saw in those video clips was Felix Verdejo. Now Felix was a Puerto Rican boxing sensation. You know, they've been comparing him in his amateur careers to, you know, the next Miguel Cotto, the next Felix Trinidad, you know. There will never be another Tito. Tito is different. But anyway, so the kid actually was, was, was pretty good in the amateurs. He actually represented Puerto Rico in the Olympics in 2012 and he almost won a medal right but he ran into a buzzsaw called Lomachenko <laughs> so that's who he lost to he lost to Lomachenko you know right before I believe the medal round so he would have you know he would have brought home some type of medal for for Puerto Rico so the kid was good, turned pro um, at 19 with top rank, I think with Bob Arum, and um, went on to, you know, have a decent, decent little career. He's 27 years old. He's lost twice. In 2016, he also got into a motorcycle accident, so that kind of derailed his career a little bit, came back a little different, but still young. And he just threw his whole life away. He just threw it all away. So here's the story. He was just arrested in Puerto Rico for murdering his pregnant lover. Her name was Kishla Rodriguez. Now, Kishla and Felix went to junior high school together. They known each other since they were young. Maintained whatever little relationship they had on the side. And when she got pregnant with his child, he didn't want her to have it because he was married with a child already. He was married. Now, according to the FBI reports, 
is saying his wife saying that she knew about this mistress. She knew about her already. <laughs> because again, they've been friends since they've known each other since junior high school. So the wife knew already something was up. So the chain of events started last Thursday. When she told when she told she called her mother, Keishla called her mother and told her that Felix was coming over to check the, the validity of the pregnancy test. And that he, you know, he had already threatened her and told her he didn't want her to have his baby. He told her that he would do something to her if she had this baby because he was already married. So, Keish, so she called her mom saying, I'm going to meet up with him. And her mom said, please be careful because her mom knew about these threats already. She was never again heard from. Now, according to the person who was with Felix during these chain of events, he was with Felix the whole time with what I'm about to tell you. And he was the one that went to the cops and told them the story about what happened. <laughs> Apparently, Felix went, checked checked this girl, uh, Keishla, checked Miss Rod you know, Miss Rodriguez to see if she was pregnant. <laughs> and according to the co defendant, the witness, now he's the witness. Not a co defendant really anymore, but according to the witness, Felix punched her, knocked her out, <laughs> shot something in her arm, a syringe filled with stuff, he said, that they picked up from the projects. It was a f syringe filled with something that after he knocked her out, he shot her with. <laughs> I don't know what it was, assuming dope, I don't know. Then took her, hog tied her, wrapped her arms, her legs up. Then took her to the, a lake in San Juan, a lagoon. Put a brick to her body. Tied her up with a brick and threw her in the lagoon, hoping that she sinks. And while her body was still there in the water, when it didn't sink right away, according to the witness, Felix, Mr. Boxer, was shooting at her body, even though it was already, you know, she was in, you know. He started shooting at her body in case she wasn't dead. That's what that's the alleged report coming out of Puerto Rico. Wow. So Friday morning, allegedly that happened Thursday. So Friday morning, the or Thursday night, the mother of Miss Rodriguez called Felix and said, where's my daughter? He said, I don't know what you're talking about. He, he, she said, my daughter told me that in the morning, you know, you were going to meet up with her. He said, I don't know what you're talking about. Fine. Then Friday morning, Miss Rodriguez's sister got on Facebook and did a whole live asking, you know, for people's help to find her sister. Then the FBI allegedly wanted to question Felix, and he didn't cooperate. But now he turned himself in, I believe, Sunday night. I believe he turned himself in with his two lawyers. And allegedly the FBI has his wife, too. They haven't charged her with anything, but there's some reports coming out of Puerto Rico. I got people in Puerto Rico right now. Saying that she was might have been involved with it as well. 
Not saying that that, I'm just saying. But apparently she uh, she gave the inf all the information the FBI needed, she gave it to him. Wow. All because you didn't want her to have a baby, man. All because you you threw away your life. You threw away your family's lives. Right? They were so proud to walk around with his face on the shirt. This is my brother. Right? This is my brother right here. Like, you know what I mean? Now those shirts got to go in the closet on the bottom somewhere. You ruin your family's lives. Your wife's lives. The baby you already have's lives. And then that poor woman and what you did to her. Wow. I mean, some people, this is what I'm saying, man. Some people, like, you just never know what's on their mind. For him to go through this elaborate plan, guess what? He will be charged with first-degree murder and possibly facing the death penalty as well. Now, I think the only dilemma is how old was this un the fetus? Because in 38 states, you can be charged with that with a murder in that too. If the, you know, in certain places. Like in California, they have what's called the Lacey and Connor Law. For those who remember, Lacey Peterson, she went out on a boat never to be cut, never to be found again. And her husband was charged with the, her murder and the, the unborn baby, which his name was going to be Connor. So he got charged. He got convicted of two murders. I believe he's like in San Quentin or something like that, Brian. Uh, Scott Peterson. So he can be charged with two homicides and could be facing the death penalty. Because again, ladies and gentlemen, this was premeditated. You know, and I'm, not, I'm not justifying it, but I know things happen in the heat of passion. I know things happen in the heat of the moment, I should say. Right? Which is no excuse because you need to control yourself. You need to control your emotions. You need to. I get it. But premeditated. He went out of his way to get string. He went out of his way to the, go to the projects and get some dope. He went out of his way to throw her in the lagoon and shoot her. That's premeditated. He thought all of that out. And the, the dude that he confided, the dude that he trusted in to go with him to do this. Because when you ask somebody to do something like that, that's one of your, got to be one of your closest, like you know, you know, it's going to hold it. You're not just going to take any bozo. So whoever he was, he thought he was close friend and he went right to the police right away and listen man you know how people say oh listen man fuck that dude if he did what they say he did who, who cares that's wrong what he did you know if I'm thinking like if that was my no, oof. like if you got kids you got any daughters and that doesn't bother you so, yeah, he went to the police and uh, he told them everything. Hey. You know, this is some of the stuff I be telling people, though. <laughs> you you got to watch you around. You got to watch the company you keep, people. But it's so crazy how this guy threw his life away. This guy had millions and millions and millions waiting for him. You know, he was a good fighter, a decent fighter. 27 and 2. Fought for titles and was on all the big cards and all the gardens and the Vegases. You come from a little town of Puerto Rico to the bright lights of the big city, showing your talents, and you threw it all away? Because you didn't want your wife to find out? 
this I, I just don't get it. I thought boxing, and I know because you know, you guys know I dip and dabble in the the boxing world a little bit. They're supposed to teach you discipline. <laughs> Obviously, he wasn't disciplined. Obviously, he wasn't disciplined. Discipline also, I'm talking about just even in the affair he was having. Right? If you if you if you were willing to take it to that extent, you should have won protection. You should have been disciplined enough to, to you know, to have the pullout game right. You ain't he wasn't disciplined enough. And he wasn't disciplined enough to control his emotions to throw that young girl into the lagoon. Yes, sir, man. Again, I know things happen, but whatever happens to that dude happens. You know? Whatever happens to him, he deserves. Whatever happens to him, if he did it, he deserves all the karma he's going to get in his life. Sad. Sad, sad story, people. Leave it in the comments, man. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about this story. Let me know how you feel. All right? Leave it in the comments, people. I appreciate it. Again, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do. Right now. Boom. Subscribe. Like. Appreciate it, y'all. Stay safe.